birthday. <laughs> what do you gotta say? What up, babes? <laughs> what up, babes? Happy, come on. Happy, Happy hump day. It it's is hump day. day. Happy yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. It's hump day. We are on our school list of these number these stuff. Okay. So, we're watching a story right now. It's called... The Boy Who Cried Wolf. By B.G. Hines Author. Hennessy. B.G. Hennessy. <laughs> I didn't know that was the author. So, we're talking about what we think the lesson in The Boy Who Cried Wolf is going to be. And what did you say you thought it was going to be? Um, the, um, a lesson where, um, where he, um, where he learns to not, like, be bored and, um, and not just tell jokes or lies. Okay. Well, let's keep watching. Let's see. They must have run away, the shepherd explained. One of the boy's friends stayed with him for the rest of the day. This time to see if there really was a wolf. That was another fine after. So we just finished. Well, what do you think the lesson was there? That um, you should like stop telling jokes and 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 when he told the jokes, if there were real wolves coming, he shouldn't have told. The town people to go save his sheep from the wolves. So basically, because they, were because they were not real. So, does that mean that we should be telling the truth at all times? Yes. Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> Don't look at the beast! What do you mean? Yes. Yes. He told people, and they came to his rescue twice, and he was playing. But then when he really needed the help, nobody came to help him. Yep. So it's always important to be honest. Yeah. Right? We have to yep. tell the truth at all times. Awesome. Even if you think it's going to get you in trouble. Even if you think it's going to hurt somebody's feelings. We have to tell the truth. Okay? Because okay? nobody likes each a liar. Each day with a grateful heart. Oh yeah, start each day with a grateful heart. <laughs> so funny, <laughs> you guys. How y'all holding up in this? Uh, How are you holding up in my loose tooth? Oh, you gonna tell him? Siege officially has his first loose tooth. Well, it started when I was eating my meatballs yet yeah, two days ago. Yeah. And I think I hit my tooth on the fork and made it loose. Yeah. He already has his uh, other tooth coming in up under it. We noticed that last week, so. Now the tooth in front is loose and it makes sense now. It makes sense now. You're gonna have a, a missing tooth. That's so exciting. So it's we're homeschooling, obviously. Uh, because okay, okay. Chad Junior School is out until April thirteenth. So April thirteenth. Shout out to all the moms who have become homeschool teachers. Uh <laughs> I hope y'all hanging in there because I am struggling. But thankfully, his teacher is really helpful. She sends very detailed emails every day um, with the schedule. Chad, with the schedule and how to, you know, proceed doing things. So, we're going to keep doing that in the midst of him, me schooling him. I'm trying to get work done also. Um, so, yeah, it's just been an interesting time. Oh, y'all. 
School is over. I'm canceling it. It's done for the day. <laughs> he did most of his stuff. He did most of his stuff. Have you vlogged at all today? No. Talk to them because I think Reagan is up. I'm going to go get no. her. So, um, yeah, what's up? So, I, um, got the vlog up. Um, so if you haven't watched that, go check that out. Um, and then I went down to the basement and started getting the workout area kind of situated and cleaned up. So I'm very close to having that done. I'm about to go downstairs and finish that. After I just finished eating. Um, so I'm about to go downstairs and finish that and then I'm gonna show Gabrielle she has not seen it. So I wanna surprise her with like a revamped little workout area. Nothing special, but just, just something. Um, especially since we're gonna be working out at home every day. We have for the last two days um, and we're gonna be for, you know, right now the foreseeable future. Um, but yeah, so um, right now I'm getting my macronutrients for my chicken quesadilla I just had. Um, and so I'm gonna put that put that in um, my fitness pal, and uh, yeah, it's kind of what's going on right now. Are you gonna show them what you've done Is she in still asleep? Yes, she went back to sleep. Oh yeah, I just I was telling them that I haven't showed you yet. I gotta, I have to finish. Oh. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go and show them the work in progress. Yeah, I'll show you the work in progress, and then I'll show you the finished product, and then uh, yeah, and I'm hoping just to make out later with this beautiful woman. Every time she wears these pants, I'd be... Pajamas. This is my favorite pajama mm. lounge I like set. Them. I like them too, girl. I like them too, shoddy. But yeah. Woo, it's been a productive day. You get all done? I think so. Yeah. Proud of you. I put together a home workout for everybody that can't get to the gym like us and it's a body weight workout so you don't have to have any equipment mm -hmm. i'll put a link in the description box if you guys want to get it and then i've got some emails coming out because macro mentality is coming back mm -hmm. uh starting in april but pre-sale starts well <clears throat> people who are it. on the wait list it starts next week so if mm -hmm. you're on the wait list look out for that and then not on the wait list get on the wait list <laughs> I think I closed the white books, but if you're on my newsletter list, you'll hear about it. When it and if you're not on the anyway, newsletter list, get, get on, on the newsletter. <laughs> you can get on that one. Okay, Oscar. Okay, Oscar. Yeah, come yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so that's the update. Um, check those links down in the description box for any you know stuff coming out. There is a new podcast um, that came out, so make sure you go check out the new podcast. Um, for the day, I gotta edit the podcast. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so um, that's what's going on, y'all. Someone woke from her nap. Reagan's up. So hi, peeps. I'm up. Hi, peeps. <laughs> yeah. You want to go dance with mommy and brother? Okay. They're dancing. You gotta wipe your face, girl. Okay. Mm. I missed you, girl. <laughs> Come on, girl. <laughs> They're over here dancing. You see him dancing? Hey girl! You wanna dance with him? Dance? You wanna dance? Okay. okay. Alright y'all, so what I'm doing is, so we got this little dip bar thing. So I've got that put up so we can do dips on it. That's our curl bar right now. So here's a bench that we had. The Bowflex set that goes all the way up to, from 5 to 52.5. Um, obviously the treadmill, punch bag. But I've got this all cleaned out now. Um, so what I'm going to do is put more, I got more of these mats, I'm going to put more down on the floor and then I might move the punching bag to right here. I think that's what I'll probably do. I don't know, try to figure it out. But yeah, so that's what's going on. I'm about to finish it up real quick and then uh, show Gabriel. I'm bringing the queen down. Um, yes. The basement's not fully clean, but... <laughs> that would have been a miracle shot. Right. I know, right? That's coming though. Hang on. So close your eyes. Okay, I gotta close my eyes. So open the door, buddy. Keep your eyes closed. Keep walking. You're good. You're good. I got your hand. <laughs> Give me your hand. Okay. Alright. Stop. Stop. Okay. Three, two, one, open. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this looks so good. Oh, I'm so excited about these hanging up here. Yeah. Look at this. So I got to put the rack together. What's 
Yeah, and the dip bar, I figure if we're going to use it, we just bring it out, you right, know? Right, right. Because you can just put it in the middle. Yeah. This. So that part has still got to get cleaned out, but but I moved the dumbbells over here. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. So you got lots of space. So I bring the barbell in here. You want to do deadlifts and all that kind of stuff. You got plenty of space. Oh, you like it? This is what you want to work out tonight. All right. Shoot. All right, I'll give you a workout tonight. Do my little body weight workout. Yeah. I thought the plan was to work out after. Oh, I love this. I'm so excited. Good. Oh, thanks, You're love. welcome, but that light's horrible, sorry. The light is There we go, it's Thank you, love. You're welcome. It's perfect. Now all we gotta do is figure out how to cover Yeah, I know, right? We'll cover that situation. <sighs> so, we'll, fi we'll figure it out. Something. Curtain or something. <laughs> Alright, so let's perfect. eat. <laughs> yeah. Yay, thanks, love. You're welcome. You guys, I've been up here cooking. I am so excited about that. You are the best, babe. Well, I had no idea he was going to be doing all that. I did all the floor area. I know, right? Yeah. It's nice and comfy. Yeah, it is. I love it. Three fourths an inch. Oh, yeah. It's nice, and, nice and thick. Yeah. More like oh, I'm so excited. So, I made some pork chops. Some, some cream of mushroom pork chops. I don't know. I was just looking for recipes. And I found one. Is How is it, girl? You want more rice? This is her second helping of rice. Do you like the pork? You like the pork? I want more. More rice? More rice. More rice, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I just made some uh, basmati rice, green beans, and cream of mushroom boneless pork chops. They smell really good, so. We'll see. Oh, you guys, I made banana bread last night. So I'm hoping that it still is about the right because I don't have a banana container. So I have to like put it in this and I don't know how long it's going to keep that way. I might have to go get a bread container tomorrow, but it is so good. It's chocolate chip banana, banana bread. I will get you more. Sit down. So yeah, y'all, it is so good. I'm like domesticated. It, it only took a pandemic for me to become domesticated. I feel like I have cooked more in the last three days than I have in the last three months. She loves rice. Yeah, she's like on her third helping. Yeah. Y'all, so the wife hooked it up. Monster truck. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks for all that. Ow. You okay? Okay, that for me. I'll kiss you. All better. Thanks. So yeah, so Gabriel hooked it up. This creamy mushroom pork chop is amazing. And we know the rice and green beans are amazing. What you think, boo? That's good, I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to eat this and then get to the banana bread. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, so I have to eat and then you get pretty regular to bed and then um yeah. Hang out for a little bit. Yeah. So uh num num num. So Siege is eating his new favorite way of eating eggs. Over easy. And he dipped his bread in it this time and tried it. He's killing it. Such a big boy. Okay, you need a napkin, boy? What are you... Okay, you're not a caveman. <laughs> you're not a caveman. <laughs> Jeez. I guess it's good, huh? <laughs> Dad made his eggs this time, so I proved that I can do it. I wasn't sure. I was a little scared. But Mommy and Daddy both can do over easy eggs. For a second, I thought you couldn't do it, too. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't sure, buddy, but I did it. <laughs> you guys. What's up, yo? It's the end of day three. That's right. Homeschooling and staying at the house. Yes. Hopefully, you guys have survived the week. Yes, and, hopefully. You have. Um, yeah. What was I going to say? I don't even remember. This yeah. It's so the end of the vlog, yeah. but I feel like we haven't ended a vlog in a really long time. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. 
we wanted to just say thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you sticking with us. Yeah, and hopefully this is providing some sense of just relief from all the stressors, you know, yeah. life. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so hopefully y'all are doing well. Hopefully y'all are <clears throat> staying stocked up, staying encouraged, mm -hmm. having some fun, spending quality time with your family. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's and, been uh, good, the good part. Yeah, exactly. That's been, I mean, that's, that's the bright side is mm -hmm. that we, you know, we're forced to spend time together yeah. uninterrupted. Uninterrupted, until the, you know, yeah. So, you know. Got, forced to slow down, period. Yeah, like, so you have to look for the positives yeah. through the many Excuse negatives me. of, of what, you know, this, this is right now. Coronavirus. Yeah. The song. Cardi the Cardi B, yeah. but Cardi it B is remix. stuck in my head, okay? Stuck. Anyway. Yes. Um, oh, and if you haven't, check out the podcast because we talked about just ways to kind of keep sane and make it through mm. this period where we're all just chilling at the house, social distancing. So, um, yes. yeah, make sure you check that out. If you haven't, you can listen to it. You can watch it. We'll put the links in the description box. So, have a good weekend, guys. We'll see you Monday. Bye. See the world through our eyes. Friends, family, and fun. In a world full of changes, we've got what's consistent. Things may try to break us down, but